Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I will demonstrate how RFID reader can be interfaced with Raspberry Pi for reading RFID code using serial port. I have uploaded a separate video about interfacing of RFID reader with Arduino. If you have not watched, you can uh, watch that video. And before we proceed, let me just give you a quick introduction of myself. My name is Ram Prasad Pujari. I am working as an associate professor at School of Engineering and IT, Manipal Academy of Higher Education in Dubai. Manipal Academy of Higher Education, which was um, earlier known as Manipal University. And uh, they have a main campus in uh, Manipal, India. And in Dubai campus, it's, it's, it's a branch campus. So, I have been in teaching profession for the last 25 years. At Manipal, this is my 10th year. So let's uh, move on to this video. Uh, first, we'll look at the components that we need for this particular task. So we need a UHF RFID reader, which is shown here. As the name indicates, uh, it works at ultra high frequency. In this case, it's around 900 mega megahertz. And this sends the RFID code serially using RS232. So it can, cannot be directly interfaced with Raspberry Pi. So we need a module to convert RS232 signal levels, which is plus and minus, into a TTL voltage levels. So this module has been used here that will take care of the conversion. And the last component that we need is Raspberry Pi model. So in this case, I'm using Raspberry Pi model three. So this is about the component. So let's see. So this slide shows the procedure for performing this task. The step one, where you need to configure Raspberry Pi to enable the serial port hardware and also to disable serial login shell. So I'll be giving a demonstration on how to do this. Step two, you will have to make a connections between RFID reader and Raspberry Pi. And the last step, you will be writing a Python program to read RFID code from RFID reader. And then you will execute to test whether it is working or not. So this is about, these are the three steps that you will be following throughout this session. So let us uh, look into the demonstration side. The very first step is to configure Raspberry Pi to enable serial port hardware and disable login shell or serial. Now in order to do that, you can go to the terminal and type a command called sudo raspi config and this will take you to the configuration tool where you need to select interface options and once you select that, in the next uh, window, you will get an option to enable or disable uh, serial port hardware as well as serial port settings. So you can select this and once you select, uh, it will ask you to either enable or disable the login shell. So it has to be disabled. So I'll click enter here. Then uh, this will ask you to enable serial port hardware. So serial port hardware has to be enabled. So again, I will click S here and you will get a message once you do that. So it shows that serial login shell is disabled and serial interface is enabled. So configuration process is complete. So you can exit from this particular window. Now let us see the hardware connection between Raspberry Pi and RFID reader. So I have UHF long range RFID reader. A more explanation on this reader and the module which I have used for converting RS232 to TTL I have given in the first video of RFID communication. You can watch that particular video. So if you look at uh, the output side of this module, uh, you, you, you have three terminals here, the VCC and ground that is for the power connection. Along with this, there is a TX and RX pin. Uh, since the data 
will move from RFID to Raspberry Pi. So we will be using only RX pin over here. So white wire is connected to RX pin. So we don't need a TX uh, pin here. We don't need uh, this connection. TX connection is not required. So if you look at uh, Raspberry Pi side, I'm using Raspberry Pi 3B and uh, uh, GPIO 15 will be RXT over here and uh, GPIO 14 which I am not using, GPIO 14 is for transmission, serial transmission which I will not be using because uh, Raspberry Pi is used in the receive mode here or read mode here. Okay, so white wire is connected to pin number 10 or also called as GPIO 14 and other than that two more wires, red color is for powering the module, red and black. So this is connected to pin number one of Raspberry Pi where you will get 3.3 volt DC. So you can see that only three wire connection is enough. Red and black for powering the module. And then apart from that, there is a, a RX uh, connection for receiving data from RFID reader to Raspberry Pi. So this is about the hardware connection. Uh, instead of RFID card, we are using RFID tag over here. As you can see, this is the RFID tag. And uh, Emir is the name of the project uh, which we completed during 2019 and which was funded by Expo Live Dubai. I have made a separate video on this project. And purpose of using RFID reader is to detect uh, the vehicles which passes through a prototype toll gate. So as you can see, this RFID tag is uh, it's actually glued to the windshield of a prototype vehicle which you have which we have used so i'll be using this passive tag for rfid communication for this particular demonstration once the configuration is done and hardware connection is complete so then you will have to write a program using python environment now for this i'll be using the default python environment called as tony you can use any other Python environment if you wish. So this is the program that is written for reading serial data from RFID reader. As I mentioned, I'll be using GPI for 15 uh, for receiving this particular data. And the data is received in terms of bytes and later on converted into hex digits. And the size of uh, or length of the RFID code is uh, 17 bytes or uh, 34 hex digits so so that's about the program it's a very simple program where you need to initialize the port and this configuration followed by an infinite while loop to read the serial data and uh, so this is the printing part where you convert these bytes into hex using this particular code uh, so let me just execute this particular command. So I just uh, executed the command and you can see this is the RFID reader. I also have a tag in the windshield. I'll just bring it close to this and you will be able to see the hex digits corresponding to the RFID code on the output window. And the size of uh, RFID code is 34 X digits or 17 bytes.